tell your parents that God has done it. Amen. But they are complaining. Yes, did. Huh? Yes. I think you maybe will die. Yes. Huh? There's no death in you. Amen. Because you are sick. There's something that doctor told you. You went to the doctor, he told you bad thing. Yes. Huh? Yes, I think it's for the third time you're praying for me about it. My name is Nam Sashong. I'm from Winnie Mandela Zone 12. Uh, Terry spoke about the sickness that I have, uh, which I confirm it is true. The doctor said uh, I am sick. And then, um, yeah. Uh, the man of God spoke more about your parents. Yeah, uh, I can say, my mom, like, she's the one, like, uh, she's worried that maybe, uh, maybe I can die. Yeah. And you, how did it affect you? No, like, uh, for now, it, it was affecting me in a negative way, whereby, like, I couldn't pray, I couldn't do anything, like, so, like, I would think, like, maybe uh, I can die. And how are you feeling right now? Is the man of God has spoken unto you? Um, Daddy prayed for me and then he said it is done and I know it is done. Listen, you need to fight this spirit. You hear me? Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, Daddy. You must fight. Yes, Daddy. The spirit enters you. Yes, Daddy. Huh? It's true, Daddy. There's a spirit here. Lift him up. He need deliver. <laughs> Listen, if you don't fight it, this spirit wants to separate you. Leave him. Leave him. <laughs> Come on. Uh, my name is Teb Hokekana. Uh, I'm come from Tembisa. Uh, the prophecy is very true, 100% 100% very true. Uh, the man of God uh, he said to me, "I must overcome the spirit is entering me." That spirit is very, very, very true, because the spirit that is coming to my my stomach when when I'm angry, when I'm angry, that spirit is entering my stomach. My stomach is starting to burning, and also my chest starts to burning. So. That, that prophecy is 100% very true. And how was it affecting you? It's, it's affected me a lot. It's affected me uh, financially. It's affected me uh, my marriage. It's affected me uh, all my business. It's affected all my business. And the man of God said that be careful that it doesn't separate you with your wife. What is really happening in your relationship? It's true because uh, like now, me and my wife, we are, we are fighting. We are fighting a lot. We are fighting with the small thing. The small thing is kind of big. So that spirit is very dangerous. Yes. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto you? Oh, now I'm feeling delivered. I'm feeling very free. My stomach is very free. I feel like a cold because sometimes I feel, I feel like I'm burning. So today I'm very, very, very happy. I'm feel, I'm feel light in my body. Yes. Where's your brother? Me. Um, he's over there with the glasses there. Your brother. Is he your brother? Huh? Yes. You don't have another brother? I have. There are two, my stepbrother. Where are they? He's currently not living with us. He, he left home and things were not fine when he left. Because there's confusion in the whole house. Yes, there is a lot. Huh? Yes, and a lot you of fights. You, you can end up fighting. Yes, it used to happen. Huh? Yes. With, is he stepbrothers? Yes. Eh? But this one is like, it's crazy. Yes. Hmm? Yes. It's confusing your mom. A lot. And she's also here. Eh? She's also here. She's here? Yes. Let's call your mom. Mama? Mama? <laughs> Mrs. Libilo, Juliet, Mama? Mama? It's 
So, Mama, don't be confused. God is solving your problem. Thank you, Jesus. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. Because you are tired. Thank you, Jesus. Eh? I want to pray for these ones. I want to tell you that all these children will change. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, my name is Mpoli Bilo, and I recently, I currently stay in Ivory Park. And over here is my mother, and here, uh, this dude over here is my brother. And can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today from the man of God today, whether to be true or not? Well, yes, um, it was true. And I was actually surprised when he came because I, only, I wasn't actually expecting that to happen because a lot of stuff were happening and sometimes we just have fights and we don't know where the fights were coming from. So we're actually happy that this actually, this, this actually happened because we actually needed deliverance in our home because there would be arguments, there would be fights and it was only because of my brother, the one that the pastor mentioned, who is not here. So we actually like to thank God for actually delivering this friction that was happening in our house and how are you feeling about that well i'm feeling happy because it was really stressing my mother a lot and i like to thank god because finally god has revealed that he's actually we're, we're like we're actually like in front of him and like he answered our prayers so i ho i really hope that today my mother will have a peaceful sleep ma'am can you please confirm the prophecy that you received from the man of god today whether to be true or not oh whatever the the, 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 the man of god said today is absolutely right yeah, everything is right. They eventually called you out and tell us, how did it affect you? Oh, I was so shocked when I hear the man of God prophesying about my son and my, my stepson because it is true, he's stressing a lot because even his father is starting to, to have a tension because he, maybe he thinks that we don't understand his son anymore. But now he realized that the son is wrong. And how is it affecting your marriage since what you say it's your stepson? Oh, it, it affected my marriage a lot. You know, sometimes when I'm living with stepchildren and then they're misbehaving, it seems maybe, it, it, it will seem you don't love them anymore and then you love yours. Well, because my children are, are behaving very well. She did, he didn't even want to come to church. As you can see, he never attended this church. So always we would leave her at home and come to church. Yes. So it's, it's and how are you feeling right now since well, the man of God has located you and your family today? I'm feeling very blessed and I'm overwhelmed at the same time and I thank God for that. I believe that my mysteries have been solved. All my problems, all my problems and my difficulties have come to an end today. Yeah. Can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? The prophecy, it is true because we've been experiencing some problems with my stepbrother. Like off lately, his behavior has been totally off, and then um, most recently, he just left the house. So, like, yeah, it is true. I believe as brothers, you have to have unity and and be united as brothers to continue with life. And when that is not happening, how is it affecting you personally? Like the communication between you and him? Well, me and him, we, we still do talk, even though even though he left the house. Uh, so. But then no, it's no longer the same because I don't usually get to see him that much. So it is affecting me. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has located all of you? Well, right now I'm feeling positive that the situation might change. So, yeah. We give glory to Jesus for lives in Jesus. Hallelujah. There are things that are developing in your own peace. Abscess. Yeah. There are things that are developing here, down here, that will enter your breast. So this is a spirit that is causing, this is a spirit I'm talking about. Ouch! Ouch! There's a woman here. So I, I'm Regina Gezi from Olokwani. I think it is true because I sometimes have some abscess inside yeah. my arm. How, how was it affecting you? Some, sometimes my back ache is painful, very painful. And when you have that pet back ache, what are the things that you cannot do? 
I cannot stand uh, until that package is... How are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken about the issue that was really troubling your life? Uh, I feel very much blessed because uh, the Holy Spirit located me. Yes. And do you believe that you are healed? Yes, I'm, I, I believe that I'm healed in Jesus' mighty name. And I thank God for that. Ouch! Come on, you demon! Come on, leave him! You demon! Ouch! You demon! A demon of failure. There's someone who disappointed you. And then now you don't want to hear anyone. You told yourself you want to stay in prayer. And you don't want to see any man again. Huh? So God loves you. You can just change that mind and trust God again. And God will bless you. Don't ever worry about what you have lost. God will restore you. <coughs> You have lost everything. You are free. Kumo. Kumo Kupa. Klaako Pozofstro. Confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not. It's true. Why are you saying it's true? Yeah, because I lost, I had a business. I had to, to even close the account. I've, I'm starting over, basically, in my business. And how did it really affect you? Yeah, I get support even at home. Yeah, I don't have support from my husband. So I'm really battling financially. Uh, okay, it's my second marriage. Uh, my kids are scattered from my previous marriage. So, but they come to the house now and then. But, but, that that togetherness, unity in, in the house. And how is it affecting you as a mother, knowing that before would live like this, but now as a mother you can spot that thing here and there? Like, I don't know, some, some of my friends were saying I'm detached, like I'm kind of falling into depression or what, because I guess that's my, I'm just home all the time, and uh, much as I'm starting this, this new business, there's a lady on Tusang, at least I opened up to her, my accounts have been handed over, financially it's a mess, it's, it's a big mess. At that particular moment when the man of God was speaking with you, I saw you, you were sharing tears, how were you feeling at that moment? Yeah, because like you say, I must keep on praying, I've changed my life for the better, I've, I've, I'm in a worship team, because I'm a contact to a man of God, I'm a Methodist originally, but I've just... I find peace in that in, in where I worship now, and I'm in the worship team, and yeah, I've been praying very hard, yeah. And as the man of God has spoken unto you, I believe that that hope has been restored unto your life. How are you feeling right now? Wow, yeah, I see the bigger picture. I think, yeah, like, I would say, in it, as I grew up, I had a lot of people, people who just judge me, just first sight people will just judge me and then yeah I've always been a humble person I don't know why but people will just conclude you know all those things yeah but but it's fine it's okay I have accepted life as it is at the moment yeah in your family yes. in your family marriage is a problem thank you Jesus uh, and yes. then now you are here to destroy this curse of marriage. Yes. As I'm touching you, you are free. Uh, I'm Marcos Tube. I come from Mikliwek, and the prophets that uh, the, uh, the, pro the, the man of God prophet to me today, it, was, it is true. Why are you saying it's true? In, in my family, uh, Marriage is a, is a problem, yes. So then even now, I was in love with uh, a lady from Swaziland. So, so then uh, yesterday he told, he told me that uh, why can't we separate just because this, this relationship is stagnant, it's not going anywhere. So the problem now, uh, I'm not working, so maybe to go and see her uh, every time, you see. So that, that is the, that the prophet that he, the prophet said to me today, it's true. 
And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto you with the issue that was really troubling your life? I'm, I'm more than relieved today, and knowing that uh, I'm, I'm free. I'm, and I believe that as I'm going back to meet you, that I will get the job and I will work. And that, that, that lady told me that why can't you separate? She's going to call me and tell me that we can continue with our relationship because I love her. Well, let me touch you, Mama. Come on, come on. So that you leave this thing, you will never use this. Stand up. Stand up, Mama. Walk, walk without this. Walk. Yes, you are walking. Come on. Come on. She's running. You can see she's running. You can see. Let me ask Baba. Baba, how long she's using this? Did, uh, how long Mama she's using a crunch? Uh, 12 years. 12 years now. Yeah. My God. My God. 12 years. And I just touch her once and pass. And then you can see it's Jesus healing the people. Yeah. 12 years. Said too long. Said what was the problem? It's more, than it's more than that. Yeah, 21. What 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 was the problem? So it started with stroke. It started with stroke. <laughs> yes. So you can, My yes. feet now is all. Mama, you can walk. Don't Back. just walk again. Walk again, Mama. Just walk. <laughs> Devil is defeated. Mama, look how Mama she's working majestically. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Eh, kid now, arali ke ka na. Kiso kiso mukhel, amans kara. Bolutsu bo thomile khale ma. Kiso khale ka no ba twenty one years. Kiso thomile ka kubola ke ma uto. Kabola ke ma tol. Two thousand and three ke ke betha ke stroke. Yeah. Oh, Mami, she's explaining to us that this problem has started 21 years back and it started by him feeling the pain on the legs and while he was saying that he's feeling pain on his leg, he was feeling pain also on his knees and while he was still looking at that, he was hit by a stroke in 2003 and on top of that, the waist started not working and on, from that, uh, it affected she can't walk and when she has to cook she has to be sitting on top of the chair because of she cannot stand for a long time and then Mami, she's explaining to us that she couldn't cook, she couldn't clean particularly. And even to hold the baby, it's something that she can't. Even to hold trays to put, give food to people, it's what she cannot do because she has to balance with the waste. Mm -hmm. And then, did you try to go to the doctor? Yes, to go to the doctor. Yeah, and Mamish is explaining to us that uh, doctors she did go many times and they put what steroid? Steroid on the back, at the back, and that's where the situation became worse. And today, when the man of God prayed for you, how did you feel? I can and Mami, she's explaining to us that uh, when the man of God was praying for her, she did not know what happened. She just got surprised when the man of God said, stand up and walk. And indeed, she stood up and walked.
And when she's explaining to us that she couldn't walk, she couldn't do anything since well her body was tight and it was heavy. And then little kwa jang hani jate mama, how are you feeling right now? Uta light, ke bo fe fe, uta light. Tibile ke auta orang, ngai na maga neke sa kuno topa selo. Rale bo hama mara tapa. Amen. 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 So you can't walk without it? No, huh? the, the, the operation is still fresh. So if they, they the operated you? Yes, the muscles are still fresh. You are free. So you could not walk without a crunch? I, I started working with it since five days now, after the operation, because the muscles. But when it's not there, you can walk. Yeah, they say, the doctors say that it will damage the... It will damage. You are healed. Ah, brother, how do you feel? How do you feel? I can't hear you. I feel completely different. The, 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 the wound is just, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Huh? I, can't, I can't explain it, but I can't explain it. That so you, you could not use the leg, isn't it? The leg could not use because of the, it was injured. So right now it's completely different. Completely different. Completely different. Ten and one. Now you're working straight. Are you telling me you could not walk without crunch? I mean, it's a, a, this is a miracle. Yes, I walk with two crutches. I just left one in the car. So you left one, one in the car? Yes. But so I turn and walk again because the more you're working here, is the more you're becoming more healed. Do you feel any pain? Amen. Huh? Do you feel pain? I don't feel any pain. You don't feel pain? I don't feel any pain Okay, at all. turn again, walk. Turn and walk. Because, you know, you people, you people, you don't know Jesus can heal. Amen. All right. How do you feel? I, I feel completely different. So I, you don't feel anything? I don't feel anything. I'm even scared if maybe... <laughs> Congratulations. Amen. Uh, and for the past, I can say the past three to four weeks, uh, I started struggling with my leg. And uh, it was my left leg. So I went to the hospital. It was getting worse, and they gave me the medicine. I was using the medicine, and they said I've got an inflammation in the leg. So the leg has continuously given me problems. So until last week, I went to the hospital again. I slept three days in the hospital, 
and in the hospital they told me that uh, they found something inside the leg, on the left leg, but they don't know how that thing has entered there or it ended up there. They said to me it's something like a boil. So the, 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 I, the process from there was to operate the leg. And then uh, in that operation, they've removed that. But then, because of the leg muscles were still fresh, doctor said that I must not use the leg. I must use the crunch. So obviously, ever, ever since I got operated, I was using a crunch. I've never actually walked on this leg. It's the first time today I walked on it. How did it really affect you? Because as, as your lifestyle, you're used to doing some of the things. And what are the things that you couldn't do because of this problem? Look, I couldn't, I, I couldn't walk in the house. I couldn't bath myself proper. I couldn't go to places as I wanted. Simply because I know that, um, uh, you know, one leg is still not okay. So at the present moment, uh, I'm happy that the man of God uh, has prayed for me. And then I believe that by Jesus Christ has come through for me or has answered my prayers. And how are you feeling right now on your leg? Right now, it feels different uh, from the operation. Though, as I'm saying, I've never walked on it um, ever since the operation. But now, when I walk on it, I feel like I, I feel I feel the I feel completely different on it. Yes. And as I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you today in Jesus' name, He has restored you to your original place. Words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there. What can you say to? Them? Look, I mean, uh, I've, I've, I know Chagris, um, I've, I've seen Chagris on TV, and Chagris, for me, it is a place whereby, uh, if you are looking for Jesus, earnestly, true seeking Jesus Christ in your life, you can come here. This problem must leave you. Don't ever think your life is not going anywhere. Okay. You hear me? Yes. It's a whispering from Satan. God has already opened doors for you. Amen. You hear me? Thank you. Okay, my name is Tony. I'm originally from Limpopo, but now residing here in Johannesburg. Uh, the man of God has given me a prophecy. Yes, it's 100% true. I know about it. Uh, what was really happening that made you to really worry or what are the things that you were expecting that they would happen But there were not there were no signs of them uh, In fact, I can say sometimes I just come to think like things wouldn't really happen the way I was expecting them for example when they take time So that's why I came to think like it won't really happen And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto your life? Uh, now I'm, 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 I even feel light now. I'm happy. I have hope in Christ now. Yes. And, and, and deep within you, you know that something is going to happen. Yes, exactly. Exactly. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Words of encouragement to other Christians out there who are waiting upon the Lord. And some of them, they were feeling the way you were feeling, thinking that, you know what, things are not really happening. What can you say to them? What I can say is, whatever situation that you might be in, whatever hardship, just hold on to Jesus, for he said in his word that his, his plans are above your, your, your plans. His thoughts are above his th your, your thoughts. So meaning he, he will do something for you as long as you keep on holding, not sliding back, not neglecting his ways.